What a brilliant art attack. Big eyes. Here's a bit of fun. Try making an eye. Blow up a round balloon so that it's just a little bit smaller than your head. And then take some PVA glue and mix it in equal parts with water and just slop it onto your balloon and paste on some strips of newspaper. And the idea is to cover the balloon in three layers of newspaper and glue papier-mâché. It won't take you long to do that. Just slop on big strips of newspaper. And when it's done, leave it to dry. And when it's dry, it'll look something like that. And look at that. The three layers of PVA and newspaper have gone rock solid. And you notice I haven't got all the way to the end there. That's so I can get my scissors in to burst it. Oh, there it goes inside. And I can now get the scissors in and cut the papier-mâché balloon lengthways from the top to the bottom. And when you've done that, you've got two halves. Look a bit like masks, don't they? Then paint those two halves. Paint one white and one to match your skin. Now, this white one is actually going to be your eyeball. And the thing to do on the eyeball is to just very carefully draw an outer circle like this. And that's for the iris of your eye. And then do an inner circle for the pupil. And then you can paint it any colour you want. You can use poster paint or acrylic paint for this. I'm going to use some poster paint. And again, you can do it any eye colour, blue, brown, grey or green. And what I'm going to do here is I've got some blue. I'm going to do a blue eye. And it's just a case of flicking in across the pupil like this. And it doesn't matter if you go over that pupil because we're going to paint that black in a minute, but whatever you do, don't go over that outer line. And when you've done the whole of the iris, just dip your brush into some black paint and just dab it around the outside edge of your iris, because if you look closely at your iris in the mirror, it tends to be a little bit darker around the edges of those coloured streaky bits. And when you've gone around the outside edge of the iris, just colour the pupil, the middle bit in, black. And it's a good idea to just leave an, a white circle as a sort of highlight. And when you've painted it, just leave it to one side to dry. And then take the other half, the half that you painted the colour of your skin, and cut that into three equal bits. See that? Three equal bits, and then throw one of those bits away. You won't need it. Take those other two bits. They'll be the eyelids. And then take your eyeball and glue the top edge of your eyeball and the bottom edge of your eyeball. Just a little strip of glue along both and press those eyelids into place like that. And then leave the whole thing to one side to dry. And when it's dry, look at that. The eyelids actually stick out slightly from the eyeball, so it looks 3D. And I've even put on some eyelashes, just painted those on. And you know what? The weird thing about these big eyes is that wherever you put them, if you put them on a desktop or even if you hang them up, the eye just seems to follow you wherever you go. <laughs> Try it yourself.